Hi guys, it's Terry here from For The Love Of Fitness. Now today I'm gonna to try and help with some motivational advice. There's a lot of motivational videos out there. I love them. I've been inspired by loads of them. I've been listening to Eckhart Tolle and Abraham Hicks for years. And the guy we always hear in those motiv motivational videos, if you hear those, E.T. Eric Thomas. You've gotta to wanna to succeed as bad as you wanna breathe. And also, until recently, I've been listening to Gary fucking V. Like, that guy is just from a short amount of time I've been watching him, he's helped me so much. Like, he's inspired me to even make these videos. So, yeah, I'm gonna credit these guys um, in the description because I think they've helped me so much. I want them to help you. So if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell so you can get notifications for my next videos. So years ago, what helped really change my mindset, I heard this, I'm not sure from where, it said, if you die today, would you be happy with what you've achieved in life? My answer was fuck no. So are you happy? Are you truly happy? Do you feel like you should be somewhere else or doing something else? Now there's a reason why people go out on the weekend and get fucked up all the time. Or they just buy loads of shit to make themselves happy. Now, there's a lot of people that moan about their lives, they moan about their jobs, their relationships, their bodies, but they never do anything about it. They just make excuses. Now, if you don't like your job, quit. If you can't quit because you need money, then look for another job. Go get that job and then quit the old job. You have a shit relationship, end it. You have kids, well there's a lot of split families out there. How about you've got a house, you know, you can't. Yes, you can. You get the house, you sell it, and you get another house. Okay, you hate the way you look. Okay, well exercise and eat better. Okay, you don't know where to look, you don't know what to do. Okay, well there's Google, there's YouTube, and there's, P there's PTs, personal trainers. See, there's always something that can be done. There's always something, but a lot of people have that mind where they're kind of blaming other forces in this world for the things they're not happy with, but they're not doing anything to change it. Now, you can speak to some of these people a year later and they'll be saying the same shit that they've been talking about the year previous. They don't like their relationships, their jobs, their bodies, but they've done nothing whatsoever to change it. Now you can decide to change all that. If you're miserable, it doesn't have to be miserable forever. You write your own life, you write your own stories. You can have whatever you want. You can live any life that you want to live. You just have to be willing to push for it. You have to be willing to work hard for it. You can't just sit on your ass and hope that it's just gonna fall on your lap. Or you can't just think that you're entitled to it. You need to be willing to push it and struggle to get it every single day. Work your ass off to get it. You have to be willing to push yourself to the limits. Now, if that sounds too much for you, then you're gonna always be living the life that you have. Now, if you're happy with the life you have, then good, I'm glad. But if not, you have to go out there and get what you want. You have to really push it. You really have to believe in what you want and go for it. You think the people on top got to where they are by doing nothing? No, they worked their asses off. They believed in what they were going for and they struggled and they pushed it until they got to where they got. And when they got to where they want, they didn't just stop there. They saw that all their hard work had paid off. They'd got the life that they wanted. Now you will get there too, but it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a struggle. You're gonna have times where you think, fuck this. But then what? If you decide to fuck this, then you're gonna go back to living the life that you don't want. Now time goes quick. Don't waste these precious minutes, hours, weeks, days, years. Don't look back at a year and think, shit, I'm in the exact same spot as I was. I'm still miserable. I'm nowhere closer to getting what I want because I didn't do anything about it. Don't do that. Push yourself. Every day, you should be working towards what you want. Now, you need to work hard for what you want, but by working hard, you're gonna grow. You're gonna become stronger. The shit in your life that was affecting you is in, in, impacting you negatively, it won't even penetrate your soul. You'll, you'll be so much stronger. That's just from working for what you want. So your life will become much better, much easier because you're stronger. On this journey of getting what you want, getting the life that you want, you're going to fail. You're gonna fail a lot, but failure is okay. It's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean you can't do it or you're shit. It just means there's a learning curve. 
your failure is learning. It's a progress. That's how you're going to progress and get better. Now, successful people, you think they never failed. The reason why they are successful is because they fucking failed. They failed a lot. Failure is what makes you successful. Success doesn't come without failure. You can have the life that you want, but you have to have the belief, the drive, and the motivation to go for it. Without that, it's going to be impossible for you to continue when times get hard. It's going to be too easy for you to give up. When you have the drive, the belief, and motivation, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. When you believe wholeheartedly, that is what you're meant to be doing. When you have the motivation to say, yes, that is it. And you have the drive where you wake up and you're like, that's it. Nothing can stop you. You need to have those things. If you're just thinking about, you know, I kind of want it, then it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. You have to want it 100% more than you've wanted anything in your life. Now, we're all great and we're all special. Just some of us never push ourselves to get what we want. And these people will become miserable and bitter. And then they'll pass that on to other people. So it's like a horrible repeating cycle of of not getting what you want and just accepting that life is how it is but then if you get what you want you could motivate and inspire others you could help people get what they want now you're having a positive impact on people's life now how fucking cool is that now in this journey for getting what you want you're always going to have things that try and stop you try to get you to give up now you're always going to have two paths give up or keep going if we give up, we go back to the life we don't want. We keep going, we get there. Now, you're going to go through struggles, you're going to go through pain. Like, your body and mind are going to want to sleep for a year. Or you're going to have shit in your life that's going to really impact you. But you've got to say, fuck that. You've got to let the pain drive you. You've got to let it fill you with more de determination and more motivation than you've ever had in your life. Now, on this journey, you're going to encounter some people you may never have encountered before. Some people are going to be highly successful. They're going to help drive you and push you to your goal. Now, those people are great. Keep those people. Then you're going to encounter the exact opposite. These people are going to push their lazy, hating beliefs on you, telling you you're crazy, you can't do that, stop living in a dream world. But living in a dream world is exactly what you're trying to do. Now, some of these people, these negative people, they might be close friends and family. Now, that's... A bit shit but you can't keep these people in your life no matter what all they're going to do is really make it hard for you to get to where you're going they're really going to keep the negativity inside you and really make it a lot worse so some are going to be really helpful they're going to really support you and tell you that you know you can do whatever you want they're really going to believe wholeheartedly that whatever you put your mind to you're going to do and then some are going to try and drag you back down to their shitty life because that means that you stay exactly where they are. Now, we all need support on this kind of adventure, this journey, but we can't rely on anyone. If you rely on anyone, if your success depends on others, then you will fail. Now, others can help you and you need to recognize the value others can bring, but do not rely on them. Relying on people, some people, I wanna say some people, most people will let you down. There are some people that help you, but like I said, you don't rely on them, you rely on yourself. You go get it yourself. Okay, so you might still be listening to this and saying, I can't get what I want. I, I'm, I may never get it. That's just fear talking. Fear of looking stupid, fear of failing. Now, there was something something else I heard ages ago. It was, it changed my, uh, it changed my thoughts massively. On the other side of fear is your endless possibilities. Now, Fear is controlled by the mind. Fear, it means you don't know what's on the other side. Now, your mind will help uh, impose this fear on you. It wants to control you, but you need to ignore it. And the more you ignore it, the more chance you have of getting what you want and the less it affects you in life. So there's amazing things that happen just by getting what you want. Fear can really be detrimental to your health. It can really stop you doing anything. But by pushing through and working hard and getting what you want, Fear will, will not affect you as much and then your life could be a whole lot better. Now, if you don't take action to change things, to change your life, you're going to have this unhappy, unfulfilled feeling for the rest of your life. Now, you're God. You can make any life that you want. And if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. You just can't give up until you get what you want. Don't quit. Get what you want. And that's it, okay? So I want you 
to do this. I want you to get the life that you want. We all deserve to have the life we want. We should be inspired and motivated by others to get what we want. We should stay away from the negative naysayers. So I hope that this has helped you. I hope that this has inspired you and motivated you to, for you to make a decision to do what you feel you should be doing. I'm Terry from For The Love Of Fitness. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.